click on file systems in the left menu then hit add file system choose the efs file system and access point that we just created then enter a local mount path i'm going to enter slash mnt slash test then hit save consider this you have an amazon efs file system that you want to attach to your aws lambda function can you do this using the lambda console Let's find out. Let's start by navigating to the EC2 service, then click on security groups in the left menu, then hit create. Give your security group a name and a description. I'm going to call it my web security group. Then click on add rule in the inbound rules section. Let's allow SSH access from anywhere, then hit create. Let's create one more security group for Elastic File System and call it My EFS Security Group. In the inbound rules, I'm going to allow NFS access from My Web Security Group. Hit Create, then navigate to the EC2 dashboard and click on Launch Instance. Give your instance a name, choose an instance type and a key pair, then select existing security group. Pick my web security group from the dropdown, then click on launch instance. Click on instances, then give it a few minutes for your instance state to change to running. Let's SSH into this instance by clicking on connect, then selecting EC2 instance connect. Now that we are successfully connected to our EC2 instance, let's head to the EFS service. Click on create file system and leave the VPC to default, then hit customize. Give your file system a name, then choose whether you want to enable automatic backups and encryption. I'm going to leave everything else to their default values, then hit next. Let's remove the default security groups from our mount targets and replace them with my EFS security group that we created earlier. Hit next, then click on create and give it a few minutes for the EFS file system to get created. Go inside your file system, then navigate to the access points tab. Click on create access point, then hit create and confirm that your access point state now says available. Next, click on attach and copy the sudo mount command under the NFS client option. Now, let's head to the EC2 terminal window and create a slash EFS directory by typing sudo mkdir followed by slash EFS. Let's copy the sudo mount command now and paste it in the terminal window. Don't forget to replace EFS with slash EFS. If you run into fail to resolve server name error, that means the DNS changes have still not propagated. So try again in a few minutes. After the sudo mount command goes through, run the df-h command and confirm that you see slash EFS mount listed in the output. Next, I'm going to use the cd or change directory command to go inside the slash EFS folder, then create a file name readme.txt file with the contents of hello from EFS. We can confirm the contents of readme.txt file by running the cat command as well. Next, let's head to the lambda service, then click on create function and give it a name. Choose Python 3.11 from the runtime dropdown, then click on create function. Navigate to the configuration tab, choose permissions, then click on the execution role. From the add permissions dropdown, click on attach policies, then search for VPC. Here, I'm going to select Amazon VPC read-only access policy, then search for elastic file system. Select Amazon EFS client read-write access policy, then click on add permissions. Confirm that you see both the policies attached to your execution role, then head back to the Lambda tab. Click on VPC in the left menu, then hit Edit and choose your default VPC. 
I'm going to select all available subnets, then choose my web security group, then hit save. Looks like we're running into a permissions error, which means that we did not attach the correct VPC policy. To fix this, let's head back to the IAM tab and click on attach policies. Search for VPC and this time choose AWS Lambda VPC access execution role. Click on add permissions and let's also remove the incorrect VPC policy from our execution role. Head back to the Lambda tab and click on save and confirm that your function gets successfully updated this time. Next, click on file systems in the left menu, then hit add file system. Choose the EFS file system and access point that we just created, then enter a local mount path. I'm going to enter slash MNT slash test, then hit save. Next, Navigate to the code tab, then scroll down to the code source section. Here, I'm going to copy paste pre-written Python code. It starts by importing the OS module and on line four, inside Lambda handler, I'm using the os.popen method to run the cat command and read the readme.txt file that already exists on my EFS file system. On line five, I'm storing the output of my cat command and then finally returning it as part of my return statement. Hit deploy to deploy your changes, then click on test and invoke to invoke your Lambda function. Confirm that you see hello from EFS as your response output. Next, let's head back to our EC2 terminal and update our readme.txt file and add version two at the end of it. If we re-invoke our Lambda function, we should see the updated file contents of our readme.txt file in the response output. There you have it. But before you go, here's a question for you. Why did the data apply for a job at Amazon EFS?